Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. Let's go ahead and play the reverse version of this duel, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I... it's been several days since I played it. this, so I don't even remember what this is all about. But it can't be too complicated. Any number of life points in multiples of 500, reduce the level of the monster you control in your hand by one for each until the end of phase. So that would be the way to get this reactor out. Okay. So. First things first, we're going to do a Lore of Darkness, and that'll get us two cards. Threatening Roar, Strike Slash, when a monster you control declares an attack until the end of phase, that monster gains. When a monster you control declares an attack until end of phase, it gets 700 also. If it attacks a defense monster, okay, so it's just a weird backwards buff. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and banish this card. I'm gonna set these face down. We're gonna go ahead and set that face down. Set that face down. Play this. Spend 500 life points on that. So now it's 4 star and I can just summon it. And that's my entire hand. You say it does have Dark Hole, so I'm expecting everything to go wrong. Okay, I got rid of one of his uh, Scarecrows. Limiter removal, uh, double the attack of all machine type monsters you control until end of phase, and then afterwards you destroy everything. So we got that going for us. So I gotta remember threatening roar I have to do before the battle phase, I think. So. Okie dokie. Alright, so the first time a monster is summoned to your opponent's side of the field, inflict 800 damage to your opponent, and then during the battle phase of the turn this is activated, you can negate the attack of one monster your opponent controls. So supposedly I should be able to Yes, activate that. Okay, so we negated the attack. Black Selva, when this card is normal summon, you can target one 
uh, level 4 dark monster in your graveyard, special summon that monster in defense position, its effect is negated. I don't have any dark monsters in my graveyard. So we got that going for us. When a monster you control declares an attack. Just so I don't get spammed with the freaking limiter removal, I'll go ahead and just put it down. I'm, I'm still gonna get spammed by it, but at least it's me a little bit of a reprieve. Uh, I mean, I can might as well activate it. Since he's gonna destroy it anyway. Once, you're per, uh, once per turn, when your opponent activates a trap card, you can inflict 800 damage. You can send one face up Fiat Phi and re and this face up. Okay, so I have to get both types out, which is probably not going to happen. So I will put this in defense mode. So this will double its attack. I'll just negate your attack. Your attack is negated. I mean, I appreciate the fact that it's very thorough on letting me know that I can activate quick effects, but man, is it really annoying. During your opponent's turn at damage calculation, make this the battle damage you take from this battle zero, and if you do, draw a card. Okay, so we know we've taken care of his entire trap line now. If we had a... I shouldn't have negated the attack before. Um, 1800 would not have destroyed a defense monster, so... It would have made, made it so I did 800 damage every time we activated a trap, but that's okay. down card so if he does activate a trap it will do something all right mystic tomato so this is how he gets past the, uh, the scarecrow This is one of the ways you can actually destroy traps that are permanent. Uh, limiter removal might be enough, but I'm not going to. 
Now the effect still went off, so I have to kill it with this thing. But yeah, I wouldn't have done enough. It would have just killed my monsters. It's playing out like almost like a real duel, sort of. But yeah, nowadays normal duels generally end in about three turns. That's a, that's considered a slow duel. This one's been going on for about ten turns. Alright, so at this point I can do limiter removal. And uh, possibly end this. So put this face down. Okay. All right, dual dragons. This is where we get to meet Akiza. The uh, Black Rose Witch. I believe her s that's named that has to do with the name of her uh, Synchro Summon. Junk Warriors, pretty standard. Uh, defense Draws, standard. Give and take, special summon one monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field. In defense position, increase the, the level by one. Increase the level of one monster you control by the level of the special summon monster until end of phase. Okay, so essentially you, you give them a, a monster from your graveyard and buff up one of your monsters levels so you can use them for synchro. You take no battle damage from attacks involving this card. Once per turn, this card cannot be destroyed by battle. That's actually kind of nice. Turret warrior, you can special summon this card by tributing one warrior monster if you do gain it gains attack of a tributed monster. So I do kind of want a strong warrior. Alright, well this is the only thing I can bring out. It takes no battle damage. And once we're trying this card can't be destroyed by battle. So I should be okay doing that. I can give it fighting spirit, but I don't exactly want to. More than likely I'll probably end up just sacking it for turret warrior just to get something out on the field that actually can hit. Wall of Ivy. Should be summoned for Rose Tentacles. That's it. The AI is smart enough to know they can't be our this defense. So Special Summon one level two or lower plant type monster from your hand. So she casts that real quick. It's also a quick play card. Summons this. Uh, it has a flip effect to summon more tokens. And then, since she didn't use a regular summon, she used a tribute. Bring out this. Cannot be special summoned at the start of your battle phase for each plant type monster you current, your opponent currently controls. This card gains one additional attack during each battle phase this turn. Each time this card destroys a plant type monster by battle, inflict 300 damage. And then three traps. 
Uh, when a monster, the equipped monster destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, and inflict damage to the monster to half the destroyed monster's attack in the graveyard. Okay. So here's the problem. That thing has 2200 attack. At best, I can get th uh, 2100 right now. I'm going to switch you to defense position. And I think that's it. I, I can't... I mean, I can bring out Turret Warrior and I could save it for a turn with um, Fighting Spirit, but that's not going to save me. Select one face up card in the spell and trap code and destroy the control of the uh, destroy card can then set. Select one face up card in the in spell and trap zones and destroy it. Controller of the destroy card can then set one spell or trap card from their hand. If the set card is destroyed in center of the graveyard, select destroy one face up ca card on the field. Whatever you say. Well, I'm about to die, so let's go ahead and get this over with. I'll prevent the uh, the 2200 attack, and I guess that's it. Oh, another one. Let's see what my next card is. Level two monster. It's not even. It's not even a tuner. All right, I'll go ahead and concede. I'm not going to be able to survive another round. I can. I got a scarecrow, but that's not going to save me. Tip synchro summon. You know, with all that stuff you didn't have. But yeah, she has a plant-based deck. It's not too shabby. Alright, good. She's going first. Okay, so this time I do have a tuner. One secret turner from your deck to your hand, send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. That got me that. Alright, so with this, if I summon it, I can target one level 2 or lower monster in my graveyard, which I now have. That'll give me, a fi that'll give me 5 levels worth of uh, Synchro, which can get me Junkie Warrior. First things first, let's go ahead and set some cards. This Lemeter Overload is literally just bait. 
And everything else here is, uh, fine. Okay, this will give me 2300 attack. Shabby. All face up monsters you, uh, uh, your opponent controls become plant type monsters during your turns only. If this face up card you control is destroyed and sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, draw one card. That's how she gets us to be get into being plants. Not a huge deal. So we got a five star. All right, so we can up ourselves to, to the uh, the star dust dragon here. Tribute the card, negating the activation. Blah blah blah. Or. So I can either get the Stardust Dragon out, or I can go straight for uh, another Junk Warrior. I think I'm going to go for another Junk Warrior, probably. Actually, I might be able to do- I might be able to get the Stardust Dragon anyway. Let's see if I can. Summon one monster from your graveyard to your opponent's side of the field. I pick Junk Synchron. And then I'm gonna increase Speed Warrior's level by three. I'll bring him up to five. And then I can Special Summon Stardust Dragon. cards out. Along with this. Once per battle phase, if this card was normal summon, you can double it. Okay. 800, 1800 attack. to what I have so far. Oh, you can only do it once. That's kind of lame. By Rose Witch. Can be treated as true tributes for plant summons. Alright. Well, 
not too shabby. Alright. Well, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. I was just going to knock out two duels real, real quick. So, I am the Depressed Eeyore. This was Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist. See you guys later.